color to the hair. Yellow, it's uh, it's been a while. Don't leave, I, I'm going to read. I'm gonna do something for you guys, <laughs> promise. Don't leave, it's going, it's going to be good. You're gonna wanna stay, I just gotta say, just gotta say a few things, a few things first. Two years ago, on this very day, August 12th, 2018, I realized my first, wait. Realized? Oh, that doesn't make sense. Released. I released my first short film, real short film, titled Emotionless. It's uh, hard to explain without giving away the entire plot, seeing as it's just a short film. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind, please go check it out. It's in the description below or somewhere on the screen. I don't know, I'm lazy. So like a lot has happened between then and now I got new pair of glasses. I don't know if I mentioned it before. I'm getting a new pair later, but you know, who's counting? I've been incredibly busy with college the past few years, hence why I haven't been able to make any videos of, of any sorts, any sketches or, or, or vlogs or uh, any more short films, even though a lot of them are written. I'm just waiting for time to be gifted to me. I'm still holding out my hands like this to father time. It's not working. But this is my final year of college and I do only have a certain amount of credits. So hopefully, hopefully, I'll have more time to, to give or to take and then give to, you know, filming projects and, and other stuff, but uh, no promises. Can't really disappoint if you don't make any promises, Dad. So last year, the cast and crew and I, so we sat down together, watched Emotionless one year later, and we did a commentary. You can find that video in the description or somewhere, or I'm really lazy, so just go to my channel, subscribe, and find the video there. So this year, I wanted to do something a little bit more special for you guys. I don't know if I actually... Wow, my eye! I'm making soup and the onions messed up my eyes, okay? <sighs> I don't know if I officially announced it to everyone, but I am making an emotionless stew! Yay! Uh, however, the sequel of My Little Peaches uh, is not going to be in the medium that you think. Oh, no, no, no. It's actually going to be a comic book, graphic novel book. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm going to read. I'm going to read the prelude for you guys. That's what I'm going to do for you today. Um, just don't leave. I know this. I'm beginning. It's it's been a while, and I'm trying to get to the point. But ah, but yes, yes, the story is entirely written, and it's going to be a comic book slash graphic novel. And I am. I am so excited to just just make this because writing comics is something that I, I want to do as well as you know direct write and direct films and and one I just want to make my own content and so this is just a way that I said I'm going to do this, this is trial and error so yes emotionless 2 is a thing I had the idea of emotionless 2 while filming emotionless 1 and I just converted it into a comic after my then girlfriend and now fiance was like write something so I can practice drawing so it's like okay emotionless 2 it is and it ended up being a lot longer than what I wanted it to be here it is here it is here's the official script emotionless it's not gonna focus cuz uh this camera sucks but uh emotionless 2 it's 10 Again, not gonna focus. It's 10 freaking pages long. 10 pages, it's like a book. I get emotional just holding it and I know that is completely and entirely opposite and ironic to the situation because it's emotionless. The whole comic is divided up into chapters and I do have a prelude. It's five chapter chapters long. Some are shorter, some are longer than others, but they are divided up in chapters and play out, you know, cinematically. That's my soup! I think 
back. It's just, it's a passion project of mine and I'm just very excited. It follows this guy and his experience with the box from the short film and we get to see what immediately what happens after after this moment in, in the short film and it's just, I'm just excited. I'm excited to just share this with everybody. Uh, I'll, I'll give more details as time gets closer on to the release of this whenever it'll be, but uh, yes. I want to read that prelude for you as the second anniversary of Emotionless. So here we go. <sighs> Images flash before him. There is a little boy with tan skin and straight dark brown hair playing with a blue ball and a small with a small blonde haired girl. Then another image of Felicity at the park bench in her emotionless state. Aaron closes his eyes trying to ignore these memory flashes, but he can't seem to shake them. Another flash of the little tan boy playing with action figures and a toy rocket ship flash before, f flashes before him. One more flash of a red-headed girl with hazel eyes appears smiling right at us before she is suddenly struck with pain and agony. She clutches her stomach before falling to the ground. Suddenly, everything goes black. Well, uh, I, I am emotionless. Aaron wakes up from his bed, expressionless. They say to just start from the beginning, but I don't think this story has one. He silently goes about his daily routine, aimlessly and autonomously, showers, gets dressed in tattered jeans and a dark gray hoodie, eats a bowl of boringos, sits, watches TV, and finally leaves his house with plumes of gray smoke, puffs from the closing of the door. Still silent, he is now at the park and goes to sit in his usual spot. This condition doesn't really have a defined starting point. He looks to his left to notice some children playing on the playground, gray smoke about the scene. It simply just is and grows. It culminates even, it culminates over time. Looking to his right, he catches he, ca his, he catches a blue-eyed, blonde-haired girl dressed in a gray t-shirt and black jeans and sits in the park bench opposite of his. She is staring at him sympathetically. Wait, that, that girl, she... Aaron's vision becomes blurred and the gray smoke that was lurking around turns to red smoke. Aaron begins to rub his eyes, but he is no longer at the park. Instead, he is sitting in a... In a wide, dark place, swirls of red smoke about him. As Aaron clutches his head with his eyes closed shut, he concentrates. Some blue and gray smoke begins to take over. The blue and red smoke dissipates, leaving gray once more. The image then turns back into the park, with Aaron sitting in the same spot. He looks around. It doesn't, see, he, it doesn't seem he remembers it seems he doesn't remember what had just happened. He looks to his left to see butterflies and children in a different clothing, in different clothing playing. It's funny how people think I'm not okay. Looking to his right, the same blonde haired straight, the blonde straight haired girl, now in a bright blue and white striped dress, notebook and pen in hand, smiles at Aaron excitedly. I am okay. I'm very okay. I'm okay with being okay. Because, well, the girl now radiates life and color now. However, upon seeing Aaron in his state, he is in, dark and gray. She becomes sullen and conflicted. Okay is just fine. Hold on a second. Red smoke begins to crawl in on the ground, removing the gray smoke from the very scene. What What is this? Aaron, confused by what he is seeing, blinks hard, and instead of seeing the blonde-haired girl there, he sees a red-headed girl sitting in her spot. The park is no longer lively and colorful. Everything is now sad, cold, and a muddy gray. Red smoke is all around the playground. The red-headed girl stares at Aaron with tears in her eyes, holding a plate with a single donut on it. Really, Aaron, she says, you could have stopped this. She removes her hand to reveal blood. 
No, no, stop, this isn't real. Horrified, Aaron gets up and begins to run away, out of the red smoke and into, the, into a plume of blue smoke. As he does, he slows down and color returns to the park scene. He slows down as he approaches his bench. Looking down, he sees the box on his bench with a yellow sticky note from someone who is just like you. Picking it up, he's confused. Familiar, he thinks. He opens the box, which is emanating, which is emitting puffs of blue smoke, and he laughs happily. I, he looks up and sees the same blonde haired girl from before, now in a pink dress next to a silver car. You, they both smile at each other from afar. I remember you. Blue smoke surrounds the two of them. Aaron and the blonde haired girl, about 10 feet apart, share this moment. Suddenly the scene changes yet again. Evening casts its blue light over the cemetery. In the, in the blonde girl's place stands the red-headed, the red-haired girl. Aaron holds the box still. The smoke turns to red. Then the scene changes once more. In the red-haired girl's place lies a gravestone. Aaron, now dressed in a black coat and gray jeans, no longer has a box in his hands. He hangs his head low toward the gravestone, which reads, Talia McGurder, always remembered, forever loved. Sweetest daughter and most loving fiance, 1995 to 2018. Aaron simply stares at the grave. Grief floods his face as he takes a deep breath. As I said, I don't think this story has a beginning. Aaron bends down and places a single lavender colored tulip at the foot of the tombstone and leaves. Aaron, a voice calls, Aaron. And that's it. And that's the prelude. Uh, that's the start of this of the comic book. And if you guys can picture what I was picturing, then fantastic. And if not, then also fantastic, because you guys are gonna be able to see what I was picturing. And so, yeah, the the comic is actually so far the status of the comic is 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 right here. It's a uh, it's a bunch of just thumbnails that I have that I'm creating for an artist. Hopefully I can find someone to fully draw because my, again, my fiance is going to be able to just draw my thumbnails a little bit better, a little bit more understandable, and then we can give it to someone who can just digitally draw it. I'm so excited for this project. Uh, the comic at this moment, actually I'm not going to say because I don't want to promise anything, but now nah, I'm going to say it. At this moment, the comic will be free. I want it to be free since the short film was free. And so it's just gonna be something that I'm just going to give to you guys. And just maybe kickstart a whole new lieu of things for me to do. Uh, Cause I have other comics that I want to do as well. I have other short films I want to do. Spin-off short films for um, Emotionless, actually two of them that I am, one of them is currently written. I'm trying to get that going and another one, I am still writing. So, I am so excited. Uh, that's why this comic is simply titled Emotionless 2 because there are spin-offs with different title names and that's it. I just, it's Emotionless is its own thing and while the spin-offs are its other things but they're all interconnected and I'm just so excited. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that little reading. Thank you for sticking around until the, that until that time. And if you guys are interested, again, please the description to the link to both my short film and the commentary in the description below, as well as my Redbubble and my Instagram pages for my photography and uh, graphic design because I'm doing those now. Uh, so you know, shameless plug. So thank you, thank you everyone for watching. My sushi media links are in the description below and I will see you next time. You've just been Montified.